just In addition to Barry, the company that actually owns the rides also has its inspector on site, but again, neither is required by state law. Monique Riego, 12 News at 10. All right, thanks, Monique. So we want to hear from you. At Perverts Online. She says she was being. Well, new at 10, a 20-year-old ASU student fighting back at Perverts Online. She says she was being bombarded by men sending her nude pictures through a dating app. So she wrote a disclaimer on her Tinder bio and threatened the ultimate revenge to forward any nude pictures to their mom. Well, one guy decided to test her, sending several sexually explicit photos to her Instagram page. So she kept her word, tracking down the guy's mom and sent her the nude pics of her son. It said, if you send me unsolicited pictures, I will send them to your mom. And most guys thought they were pretty funny, but this one just decided to push the limit. Since this person who sent me his picture had his full name on his Instagram, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna live up to my Tinder bio. I ended up finding his mom because he's ha he had his mother listed up there. So I was like, all right, just gonna click on it and message her, and I did. And I was very surprised with her reaction. Like, she actually responded very well. She took it pretty well. She just basically apologized and said that her son's usually pretty good. And I think I can speak for myself and other women out there when I say that we don't want unsolicited pictures, especially when we've never talked to you. <laughs> <laughs> she posted her story on Facebook and Twitter, and of course, it went viral. BuzzFeed says they spoke to the guy who sent the picture, and he's pretty furious <laughs> that she decided to send that picture to his mom. <laughs> well, it it's a day we'll never forget in Phoenix. Two news helicopters collide, killing four. Remembering the lives of those lost in the skies over Phoenix 10 years ago today. A shark bound in... The XT5.